Wow, amazing. Just look at that. Just feel the energy of it, incredible. This is the Roslyn Chapel, just outside Edinburgh. Made famous, of course, in the Dan Brown novel, The Da Vinci Code. I have no idea of knowing. I'm sure anybody else does. There's any truth in the legend that Mary Magdalene was laid to rest here. It could be. To me, it doesn't really matter. It's a stunning, stunning place. You can feel the history, the architecture, the energy of this place. Wow. I wanted to come here because I wanted to feel, explore into the Divine Feminine and how it has been controlled, suppressed, abused throughout the aeons in society. And so how We've all lost, well, many of us anyway, that critical sense of empathy with life, of how you feel the energy of life, how you connect and be at one with it. And to me, that's what the Divine Feminine is all about. Complete unconditional acceptance of life, compassion for life, feeling the life, life forms as if they are a part of you, because of course they are. I feel completely blessed. Usually there'd be scores of people here but I'm the only one, because <laughs> so I can get the chapel to myself. <laughs> and for all of you guys too, tuning in. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is unbelievable. Absolutely amazing. Just walking in here, oh, you just feel completely held, completely held. Chalice, man, you know? You, you feel like you're being held in a chalice. This is extraordinary. It's so peaceful. It's so soft, encompassing, holding, nurturing, unconditionally loving. It's the perfect place to experience the nature of the Divine Feminine. I feel totally blessed. Totally blessed. Let's see what the energy of the chapel wants to say. feel such warmth and joy and happiness and completeness 
that despite everything that has gone on through the aeons, to the Divine Feminine, it was all a part of the journey, it was all a part of realizing who we all are in it. The oppressor, the victim, the controller, the person that is subdued or suppressed or brutalized at times. And so always a great mirror is shown through these experiences, a mirror to who we are, the different polarities of who we are, male, female, divine masculine, divine feminine. Yet we all embody them, we all have them. And it's about letting these energies come through and express. Sometimes they'll come through distorted, sometimes they'll come through in a line way. The divine feminine has come through very distorted too. The sense of empathy, losing oneself in others, handing power over to others which disempowers them too. Yes, unconditional love, yes. Feeling, sensing, intuiting, absolutely. But remembering who you are in all of this. Managing those boundaries, keeping the boundaries so that you can be yourself, even though you're caring and working and supporting and uplifting other people too. And don't let the expression of empathy become purely emotional too, like an emotional disturbance, fears on the surface of things. All too often, pain, emotion is distributed around rather than dropping deep below the surface emotional layer and coming into the karma, which begins often as a subtle vibration, a subtle feeling. And the more intimate, the more at one you become with it, that helps you release it, unwind it, and process it out. We have aeons of this karma to unravel in a relatively short space of time. But sitting in a place like this, my heart is bursting because I know I can feel it. Mankind is safe. Mankind will be saved despite everything that's going on, when you can feel beauty like this, warmth and joy and compassion, when you can feel that palpably inside of you, no challenges in society are gonna stamp that out. There is an emergence now, a new human, a new human beingness, which respects all life, cherishes all life. Let that come from the Divine Feminine in all of us, in all of us. Respecting, feeling, cherishing the other as yourself. And so she woke up, woke up from where she was, lying here, 
said I gotta do something about where we're going step on a steam train step out of the driving rain maybe run from the darkness in the night singing a la la light of day a la la light of day a la light of day sweet the scent bitter the taste in my mouth I see seven towers but I only see one way out you gotta cry without weeping talk without speaking scream without raising your voice you know i took the poison from the poison stream then i floated out of here singing a la la light of day A la la light of day A la la light of day She walks through the streets Her eyes painted red on the black valley of cloud in the rain in through a doorway she brings me white gold and pearls stolen from the sea she is raging she is raging and the storm blows up in her eyes she will Suffer the need of chill She's running to stand still as the tears run down my face. I feel like just a tremendous healing is happening. Healing the Divine Masculine. A letting go of the pain of the past, of the suffering, of the projection, the suppression. It's time now. It's time for the Divine Feminine to rise. The Divine Feminine in the Men. <laughs>